click or uh, select search. Once you see this, you're going to click here and select the settings option. Then you're going to type in power. Next, you're going to go down to change power saving settings and select that option. Then you're going to change it from the default balanced to high performance. Next, we're going to defragment and optimize our hard drive. This is the hard drive that has Windows 8 on it. So what we're going to do is take our mouse cursor again, or like I said, if you have a touch screen, take your finger and go to the right top hand corner and slide it straight down, go to search again. And then you're going to go here and left click and select settings. And this time you're going to type in defrag. And then you're going to come down and select defragment and optimize your drives. Now you will see all your hard drives, but the one that interests you is the one with windows on it. It'll have a little windows symbol next to it. And it's usually the C drive. You'll select this drive and then click optimize. Now I wanted you to know that I did shorten the process for the purpose of my video but it actually does take around uh, 10 minutes to complete. So if you want to do something else during this time, feel free. Once it's done, you can come back and close this window. All right, the next step is to delete any temporary or unnecessary files uh, on your computer. And this will also speed up Windows 8. So go to the top right hand corner, slide down to search, click on it. Then change everywhere to settings and type in disk cleanup. Now you're going to go down to the second option, which is free up disk space by deleting unnecessary files. Click on it. This will bring up this window. You're going to click on cleanup system files. And now you will see check marks by downloaded program files, temporary internet files, device driver packages. So then scroll down and uh, you will also see thumbnails selected. And if temporary files is not selected, you can just click on it and check mark that off too. And then just click on OK. It'll ask you for confirmation. Are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? Click delete files. All right, so the next thing we could do to speed up Windows 8 is to disable any programs that are running in the background. Now, these are programs that start up when Windows starts up. So even though they're not opened and you didn't open them, they're still using up systems resources. So in order to disable them, you're going to take your mouse, you're going to come down to the taskbar, right click, and select Task Manager. Left click on that, and it'll open up the Task Manager, and you're going to go to Startup. Now, there are going to be some programs here that you can easily disable. You can see that I've already disabled two of them, uh, the QuickTime task and the Apple Push. These are programs that don't need to be running unless, you know, I request them. And, uh... I didn't disable anything by Microsoft Corporation and I don't recommend that you do that because it's probably a Windows application needed to run Windows 8. And I also urge you to be careful not to disable your antivirus program. But there are programs you can disable here. So for example, Adobe, Adobe Acrobat Reader or you know Microsoft Office or anything like that, you can disable that because it doesn't need to be running in the background. So you would just select the program and then just click to disable it. In this case, it's an enable because I've already disabled it. But normally it would be like this. And then you would just click on it and click disable and it would be disabled. And that's it. 
so yeah just go through here and try to f select the programs or you know maybe games that you have that are using up systems resources in the background and just disable those next we're going to improve the speed of the folders so how fast they come up or how fast they pop up or how fast they appear when you hover over them with your mouse. So you're going to take your mouse cursor, come over to the left, and uh, when you're over the Windows uh, icon, right click, go to Run, and left click to select it, and then type in Reg Edit. So Reg Edit. And then you're going to click OK. And then you're going to go down to Current User and click on that. You're going to see this menu appear. Next, you're going to go to Control Panel. Then you're going to go to Desktop. And then you are going to select, go down and select Menu Show Delay and double click on that. And change the value to 10. Then you're going to click OK. Then you're going to go down to mouse and you are going to select mouse hover time double click on that and then change that to 10 as well now this will speed up how fast uh, you know folders come up when you hover over them or how fast they pop up when you open them and you're not going to notice it you know right away uh, it's not going to be a super big difference, but you'll definitely notice that there is a bit of a speed increase when you open or, you know, ho hover over some folders, okay?